How are we doing guys? This is my this is my sell and keep video as a Northampton Town fan and we will be discussing who we should sell and why. A few of the players anyway. But yeah, let's get into it. So we'll start off with a sell. Jonathan Mitchell, not good enough at all. He has been absolutely shit this season. Absolutely shit, in my opinion. He has been dreadful. A few of the goals this season have been down to him. He he can go, and I don't think he's a good enough goalkeeper if, if we want to get back into League One, to be honest with you. I think this season he has been quite poor. But that hasn't helped that we've only had one goalkeeper. And that is not really John Brady's fault, to be honest with you. But yeah, he he can go. And the same with Steve Arnold. Not, well, we haven't seen him much at all this season. To be honest with you, I think... He, we've not really seen much of him. And he can go. The same with Bolger. This could be a three minute rant for this player alone. What are you doing? What are you doing being the captain of this club? I don't get how he is the captain of this club. I don't, don't know who chose him the captain of this club. But I really don't know how he is. How he has took the position of, of a Charlie Good away. Because he is not captain material at all. He is terrible, in my opinion. Really bad. And we we can do better than him, in my opinion. I think it didn't help at the start of the season that... Well, halfway through the season that we changed his managers, to be honest with you. Because under John Brady, he didn't really get a look in. To be honest with you, and I think we're going to look to replace him, hopefully, with, with a better defence, to be honest with you. I think it, we've, quite, we've been quite poor in defence this season. Been really poor in defence, to be honest with you. Seen us a lot better, I think. He hasn't had a very good season either. Bolger. And I think we'll be looking to get rid of him. To be honest with you. And he can say goodbye to his captaincy at Northampton Town Football Club. Next one, Alan Shield. I think he's been quite... Not really played enough, to be honest with you. Hasn't really been involved he keeps getting injured and again gonna say it again he's another one what can go in my opinion I think he's too old and he can go because I don't think I don't think he's needed to be honest with you I think he's quite old And I think we can invest in better. I think we can do a lot better than him. To be honest with you, I think he's quite poor and we'll be looking to get better. And I think we can do better than, than him. To be honest with you, I think he's quite poor. So yeah, he... We'll be looking to move him on.
and it would be good to move him on to be honest with you. Just getting the next one up and this could be controversial. This could be very controversial in my opinion. Next one, it won't be controversial, will be Jack Salby. Not been good enough, hasn't really had a look in. Morgan Roberts, same, hasn't really had a look in. Liam Pross, hasn't really had a look in, to be honest with you. Burnt Ashley Seal, he's another one, hasn't really had a look in. And he can go, in my opinion, I think. He can go, and the same with the same with Chukarita. He thinks he's bigger than the club. Anyone who thinks they're bigger than the club needs to go, in my opinion. No one is bigger than the club. We've seen that a few seasons ago with with a Northampton legend, in my opinion, Ricky Holmes, and he can go. If you're bigger than the club then you need to go, in my opinion. Right, the players who I, sh who I think we should keep. Dylan Berry, Charlie Wood. I think they are good enough as just squad players, in my opinion. They, they can do the stuff right. At right back, Michael Hammond. He's had an okay season in my opinion. And yeah. Horseful. Now let's have this right. At the start of the season probably wanted Horseful out by January because he was he he was terrible. But I think now we're looking to keep him, in my opinion. He's improved. And yeah, he can he can stay, in my opinion. And yeah, he's a good, pretty good player. Joseph Mills, exactly the same. I think he's decent. We need another left back because I like Mills, but sometimes he does get injured, and that that's not good. That's not what we need going forward, in my opinion. We need players what can what can. What can not be injured? I think he's a very good player as long as he didn't get injured, sort of thing. Next player, Mac Max Dice, the the brother of Sean Dice, and he can stay. Got no problem with him. Ryan Watson. This is one of the players we need to get be given a contract. Because he is under contract. So I know there's a players meeting next, this tomorrow. As filming this is Monday. So tomorrow there will be a players meeting with some of the players who are out of contract. He is one player who I want on contract. Because he is very good. And I think we need to... Get him down to a contract as well. And yeah, I think we do need to get him to a contract. And it's the same with Scotty P as well. I do like Scotty P. I think we need to give him a contract as well. Hopefully he can stay. There was rumours him. I haven't seen the rumours, but what I'm hearing is there's... Rumours him he could be leaving. I hope that is not the case. Because he is a very good young player. And he's got a big future ahead of him, Scotty P. 
Now, just going back to one of the defenders quickly. We brought him in January, Lloyd Jones. I think we hopefully we can keep him. He's a very decent player, and he'll probably do us really well if we can keep hold of him. Of course, I hope we do, because he is a very good defender in my opinion. Anyway, back to the midfielders. Sean McWilliams. We need to give him a contract as well. He's one of the other players who who are currently out of contract. And yeah, hopefully we do give him a new contract, to be honest with you. Sam Hoskins, he he can, he can stay. I really do like Sam Hoskins. Harry Smith, we've not really heard anything from Harry Smith from Motherwell. That's where he is currently, at Motherwell. We haven't really heard much of him. But I think we'll have to bring him back. I don't like Harry Smith, I'll be the first one to admit that. But I think we need to... We need to just give him, he'll be coming back, hopefully he gets a few goals. But yeah, that's hopefully improves. Ricky Cole Bowler, I think we'll keep him as well. Mark Marshall, absolutely outstanding, you get me. He's a very good player. He can run down the win. And he's very decent in my opinion. And the last two who are to keep, Matty Warbington when he comes back. I think he's done all right at Yeovil. I think he has done all right at Yeovil. And then the last one, Danny Rose. He can be, he can really do the dirty side of football. So he'll we'll keep him. And that is it. And until the next one, guys. See you a lot later. I'm out of it.